All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, little bit smoky. It is a Monday morning here <coughs> in paradise here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. Another week begins <coughs> on this beautiful Monday morning, June 5th, 2023, where the temperature right now is 47 degrees here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, heading to 72 and bright sun today. And, uh, so this is it. This is my life on, uh, <clears throat> on this Monday morning. So I'm sitting on the back deck of the hummingbird tiny house looking out across the dried up creek bed over my the tatters of my former beautiful organic garden but i got a little bit going out there this summer and uh you know just thinking if it wasn't for that computer eight feet behind me you know you can still even in the summer of 2023 you can uh <laughs> you can still find places to uh, enjoy the 40-something temperatures, the absolutely glorious wildflowers, the uh, sound of songbirds. If you just, you know, you ignore the dried up creek, you ignore all the dead and dying trees, you ignore the smoke in the air, and it's not that hard to do. Like, so up on the hillside, I'm assuming she cannot hear me, so I have a, uh, I guess she's a seminary student, this young woman, I'm guessing late 20s. She is, uh, to finish her, I guess, to part of her finishing her seminary training, she is required to have 24 hours of silence, not speaking to another human, pretty much for 24 hours, just as, so she's up on the hill. Enjoying her 24 hours of silence. You know, to be a seminary student in the year 2023, and uh, about where she's sitting right now, you know, about 200 feet from where I'm sitting, I'm sure she's up there sipping her tea, watching the... Uh, this gorgeous sunrise through the smoky haze. Contemplating her life, giving herself to the Lord. So, uh, I spent the morning, what I did, I don't know how many of you are even aware that I have a a very on again off again column on medium.com you can always find me over at medium.com so i have been <coughs> making some doomer parodies of uh of old pop songs now of course i date myself so uh thanks for the idea of vegematic planted the idea in my head good lord how long ago brother to do a parody on that beautiful uh crosby stills and nash song helplessly hoping so i was so what i was doing between six and eight this morning was tossing well i was tossing and turning last night thinking about the lyrics and uh so between 6 and 8 this morning, 
before I even had my coffee or looked outside, I did my Doomer parody of helplessly hoping, talking about helplessly hopeless, you know, just conjuring up the most horrific visions that my little Doomer, my little Doomer nightmare brain could conjure up about glimpses of bloated dead corpses and raiding dumpsters for moldy food and plastic pollution and baby albatrosses choking to death on uh, plastic pollution and uh, how humans are headed for extinction and all the rest of that doomer stuff and then I get up and uh, make myself my Save the Planet organic cup of coffee. And come out here and sit in this absolutely gorgeous morning, Monday morning in the collapse. And, uh, You know, living with feet in two worlds. I've got my Uggs on here in June. My pile-lined Uggs to keep my toes warm. With my feet in both worlds. And, uh, it's what it's all about, guys. Getting out there and enjoying it while you still can. You need to suck up every wild flower, every note of bird song that you can hear. Enjoy every sunrise through the smoky haze and dead trees that you can because it's all coming down. Every bit of this is coming down. <coughs> And that's just a crying shame, ain't it? It's just a crying shame what we have done to this planet. We are one moron. We are too many. We are three so fucked headed for extinction. There's a little sparrow five feet from me. He's eating this nasty looking bug. He is a happy little bird. He found him a bug in a jar. <coughs> anyway, get out there and enjoy your bugs while you still can. Just don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye, guys.